Hello everybody, I hope you're all right. So in today's maths lesson, we're gonna carry on with what we did yesterday, which was all about one less. But first of all, I wondered if you could help me with a little game. So on my screen, I have got some numbers. Let's have a look what numbers we've got. Can you help me count them? So this is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And along the bottom, I've got lots of different Numicon pieces. And what we've got to do is we need to try and match the Numicon to the right number. So let's have a go. So this first number is number one. That's right. So we need to try and find a Numicon piece with only one hole. Hmm. Can you see it? Up oh, there it is. Well done. And we're going to move it up to the number one. Okay. This one here, what number is this? It's number two, isn't it? So we need to try and find a Numicon piece with two holes in. Okay, let's have a look. Is it going to be this one? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, not that one. Where could it be? Ah, one, two, there it is. Let's pop that one up. Okay, the next one. This is number three. Let's see if we can find the number three Numicon. Let's have a look. Can you spot it anywhere? Oh, there it is, the yellow one. Let's double check. One, two, three. It's got three holes. That's right. Right, let's pop that one up there. Okay, the next number is number four. Okay, can you spot the Numicon number four? I wonder if it's this one. I'm going to count it to check. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, it's not that one. Which one is it? Shall we check this one? One, two, three, four. Four. Oh, good. We found it. Right. Let's pop that one up there. Okay. Next one all the way down here. This is number five. Let's see if we can find the number five Numicon. Is it going to be this one? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, what about this one? One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Right. Let's try and move that one up there. Okay. This number. Can you tell me what number this is? Number six, well done. Can you spot the number six Numicon? Maybe you can try and point at it on your screen. Which one is the number six Numicon? Is it this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, it's not that one. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we found it right then. There's two left. Now this one's quite faint, but I wonder if you can see it or this one. Which one's it gonna be? Let's have a go at this one, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're looking for number seven. Brilliant, let's match it up. Now let's just double check that this actually is our last number, number eight. I'm gonna count it in twos this time. So we've got two, four, six, eight. Brilliant, we've got it. Let's pop that up there. Now then, on the website, if you go to our page, with the resources and uh, that we put up every day, I have put up a Numicon worksheet. So all you, if you'd like to, you can print it off and it's got all of these pictures on all the way up to number 10. So you can print off the Numicon pieces and maybe you can have a go at this at home. Or you can print them off, cut them out and use them throughout the next two weeks that might be quite useful. Okay, right then. Now we're gonna carry on thinking about one less. Now. I've got something a bit special here. I have got a special bag. Now you might even notice it's a bit of a Christmassy bag. And in my bag, I have got some objects. Should we get them out and count out how many? Now I'm gonna have to put them out on my table, which you won't be able to see, but I'll grab them out and see if you can help me count how many we've got. So the first one we've got, we've got some scissors. So we've got one, we've got, oh, oh. Who remembers what animal this is? We might have seen some on Friday. It's an owl. So we've got one, two, oh, three, got a little bottle of something. Four, a pen. And there's one more thing. Oh, I've got a little sheep. Five, so I have got one, two, three, four, five objects. Right, I'm gonna pop them back in my bag. One two, three, four, five. Oh, in he goes. I've got five objects in my bag. Now, 
if I take one of those objects out, let's see, I'm going to take out, hand in, oh, the owl. I've taken out the owl. I wonder how many objects are left in my bag. Now, let's have a little look at a number track. Now, a number track just shows us all the different numbers in order. So we start off with five objects in my bag. Can you find the number five on our number track? Have a little look. It might help if you start counting from the start. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Up ah, there it is, number five. Okay, so we know that I started with five objects in my bag. I took one out. I took the owl out, didn't I? So I've now got one less object in my bag. So how many objects are left in my bag? So if we know it was number five, we're going to work back this way, which means one less, go back on our number track, how many objects are going to be in there? Four, absolutely. Let's check, see how many there are. We've got one, two, three, four. We were right, absolutely. Now, I wonder if you can help me write that number. We're going to have a little bit of a practice. Now, there's something else I put on the website as well that I thought might help us. So if you go to the website, you will see this sheet here. And this is um, a number formation sheet, and it just helps you to remember how we write the numbers. So what number are we looking for? We are looking for number four, aren't we? Where's number four? Oh, there it is. Right, we're going to have a go at writing it. So it says down and over, down some more. That's the way we make a four. Let's have a little go. So I'm going to go back to my number track, grab my pen, and we're going to have a go at doing this number four. So we're going to go down and across and down some more. And we've written a four. Brilliant. So we've got a number four. We started off with five objects. We took one away. We had one less. We got four. Now, I wonder what's going to happen if we take away another one. So I'm going to grab my bag back, pop my four objects back in my bag. So I've got four objects in my bag. I'm going to take one more out. So we're going to have one less object in our bag. Let's see. Oh, my little bottle. I'm going to take that out. How many objects are there going to be? Have another look at our number track. Now remember, we had four to start off with. We've taken one away, so we've got one less. And one less than four, let's use our number track, is... Go down one. What number is this? Number three. Brilliant. Shall we have a go at writing our number three? So we're going to have a little look at how we write our number three. Here it goes. It goes around the tree and around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Let's have a go. Grab my pen back. I can even do it underneath the number to help me. So around the tree and around the tree. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit tricky to write on this. Now, I wonder if we can use these numbers to help us even try and write a number sentence. So I'm going to try. Now, we started off with four objects in our bag, didn't we? So we started off with four. I'm going to write a number four here. Start up with four. Now, we took away one, didn't we? Because we have one less now. So I'm going to do we took away one. So we started with four, we took away one. And how many did we end up with? Four. One less is three. So now I can write my number three again. So I've written this out into a number sentence. I wonder if you can have a go. We've got four. Take away one equals three. Brilliant. Right, let's do one more. Are you ready? Okay. I've got my three objects in my bag. I'm going to take one away. So one less than three. What's it going to be? Have a little look on our number track. I'm going to take out my little lamb. We started off with three. One less than three is going to be two. Let's check. One, two things left. Okay, shall we have a go at writing that into a number sentence? Let's try it up here. So we know that we started with three, didn't we? So we're going to write the number three. Three, take away 
one, because we had one less, didn't we? We took one thing out of the bag. So three, take away one equals, what was the answer? We started with three, we took away one, one less than three is two. And we're gonna write a two. Oh, let's see what our rhyme is for number two. It says, around and back on a railroad track. Two, two, two. Let's have a go. Ready? Around and back on a railroad track. Three, take away one equals two. Well done, everybody. Brilliant work. Thank you for helping me out. Now, I wonder if you can have a go at the activity that we've popped onto the website. So, what you're going to do is there's a link there for a video um, of the song Five Current Buns in a Baker's Shop. Now, if you have a listen to the song, see if you can sing along. We'd love to see some videos of you singing along to the song. And then what you can do is we've put some of these number tracks. Again, we put another sheet with these number tracks on. And you can either print them off and cut them out, or you could just use them on a screen like I did. Have a go at pointing at the number of current buns that you've got and working out on our number track. Remember, we're going to work back how many you're going to have left when you have one less. You might even want to have a go at writing the numbers. And if you're feeling super, super clever today, you might want to have a go at writing the whole number sentence. We can't wait to see your work. So have a go and we'll see it soon. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.